Hey everybody, first of all, let me just start by saying there won't be any singing in this video. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, consider yourself lucky. Shot this video in March, just as the country was starting to go sideways. Uh, I had my first ever commission to go back to Savannah to Wormslow Plantation, which I had actually just been to six months prior. Uh, I was commissioned to go and make a large photograph of these trees, actually. Now, I've photographed these trees many times, but the client needed something that could reproduce at 13 feet. And my idea was to arrive on the scene, set up a tripod, and shoot multiple exposures of the scene, which could be composited together. It seemed like a really good idea, and in the end it worked, but it was a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. The reason it was tricky is because, first of all, there were a lot more people there than I expected, which means there was pretty much a non-stop trickle of cars coming down the road at slow speeds that I had to wait for because the idea was to sit up in the middle of the road. And also, that little fence along the side to keep people from pulling over had to be edited out of every frame. This is the one they picked. Uh, they were very happy with it. I shot about 30 different areas of the road with at least six to 10 exposures each. So it was a lot of work. Shot all day and while I was waiting for the light to, to change so I could have a very varying kind of exposures, I walked the grounds a little bit and found this really amazing upturned tree, which I guess I'm easily amused, but I thought this thing was really cool. Look at the size of that. This is something you don't see every day. I don't know if you knew this, but some of these varieties of fungus ears that grow on trees are edible. Uh, chicken of the forest, they call it. And apparently it tastes like chicken. I'm not sure which ones are edible, but I probably wouldn't try it. One of the things I love about shooting video with an action camera is you can stick it in places you wouldn't ordinarily look. Just thankful no critters jumped out. The area around Wormslow there is right on the edge of a marsh and there's a lot of swampy areas that I really wanted to explore more deeply but I didn't have time because I was working. But there's a lot of stuff here to examine, a lot of textures, a lot of really awesome wood grains. And I'll close out the video with some of the other photographs I shot on the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.